morning everybody. Tuesday morning, Paperboy Trucker back at you. Had a nice long five day break. Turn the truck off there. Um, yeah, really nice, really nice. Uh, went to the lake, had some nice lake time. Uh, got, did some work to a couple of my vehicles yard work done all that kind of stuff and I'm here at the Maverick North Little Rock yard I've been here for oh over an hour uh, it's about 8 a.m. now um, you know got everything loaded into my vehicle kind of did some cleaning um, and just waiting you know the way this works is when you come back from a break like I just did you have to go into your uh, tablet and, um, oh, sorry. You have to go into your tablet and send in a, a form that's called Ready to Roll, which lets Maverick know that you're back from your break, your vacation, and you're in the truck and you're ready for dispatch. So I did that, you know an hour ago but you know it usually it takes till 8 or 8 30 uh, for the ALMs to get in and see what loads they have available and assign you a load so could be could be any minute now or you know could be 30 or 45 minutes still who knows but anyway I'm here just waiting um, <clears throat> I wanted to mention though that uh, over the weekend, you know, I, I heard from a couple of guys. Uh, one guy named Jonathan. Uh, let's see, I made some notes here. Thanks. By the way, thank you to everybody for you know all the new subscribers and emails and comments. It's really cool. I try to get to all of them where they're asking questions or this or that. Uh, but yeah, I appreciate that, guys. Really do. Um, but Jonathan said that he had been a truck driver like 15 years ago, an over the road driver, but had gotten out of it and, uh, just getting back in with Maverick and got assigned a, a trainer, um, and, uh, just, you know, everything's coming back to him. But he's having to learn, you know, the new technology, basically. So, uh, good luck with that, Jonathan. He seemed to be enjoying... He was staying up in the Heber Springs area, I guess, while waiting to hook up with his trainer. And, uh, good place to be stuck. <laughs> and then I heard uh, from Richard. Um, I think he said he had been with Maverick for four or five years. Oh, wait a minute. He'd been truck driving for four or five years, but only with Maverick for about one and a half years. But he was going to be coming to uh, the North Little Rock Maverick Yard, I think, a day or two ago to start uh, the trainer course, which is, and, you know, and I haven't talked about that much, but that's something, you know, if you're interested, you know, if uh, you know an extra uh, a way to make extra money at Maverick is after you get a little experience, you know, uh, at least a year, year and a half with Maverick, you know, you can sign up to become a trainer, and they'll assign you a trainer truck. You have to go through a little, like a week long course, something like that, a few days, week and a half. I'm not sure about that. You know where they kind of teach you the training program and what's expected and uh, you know you can become a trainer and uh, from what I've learned typically you know the trainers take out a student you don't have to do it this way but the trainers that really get into the program and are pretty aggressive with it end up you know with a student about every month you know and they, they keep the student about three weeks then they take a week off and then get another student is typically how I hear it works but uh, you know you can make extra money doing that so uh, just throwing that out there as an option but uh, good luck to you Richard on that and uh, thank you for becoming a trainer you know we we need guys to become trainers um, in fact two or three months ago I got a call 
from the fleet manager that handles trainers and he was asking me about that and uh, I told him I, I was not ready for that so uh, yeah I'm just not ready for that at this point don't want to do that just now so uh, okay so uh, it's Tuesday morning I'm empty um, you know I've already gotten out kind of checked Check my truck, my trailer, I'm all good. Um, check my oil, my windshield fluid. I just need a load. <laughs> oh man. Um, so I'll update you when I get my assignment. Hey, I wanted to mention one other thing real quick too. I forgot this earlier, but I heard from Dwayne, who you know I mentioned a week or two ago, uh, one of my referral students who's been in been in the program now he you know he he got a cdl on his own signed up with maverick went through the two weeks of uh new hire orientation and training here at the maverick north little rock yard and then he got assigned a trainer uh that lived up i think he said in kennett missouri and he's been out with him now for a week uh, but he said that they were due here uh, i believe today sometime later this morning because they were turning in the truck for some preventive maintenance so uh, you know uh, he's getting a taste of that so but he says going real good he's very happy with it uh, maybe I'll see him you know if I don't get a load real soon anyway more later okay folks well it's about 10 after 9 they uh, dispatched me a load at first going to Nashville, Arkansas to a drywall plant, but then they canceled that almost immediately and they sent me a repower. So let me show you that. Um, it goes to Grand Prairie, Texas, which is basically Dallas. So some driver is broke down in the shop so they had me repower his load uh, it's just a single coil so here's my old trailer I had to swap out all my equipment left it for him and uh, I had to swap out some tarps and timbers and things edge protectors and uh, he had a ladder in there I left out here for him uh, but here's the trailer I just picked up got one one coil on it so uh, all right that's what i'm doing uh and it's got to be delivered today i don't have any time to kill so i'm gonna get rolling all right guys i just got uh backed in here got unsecured untarped and thought i'd show you a little bit of him taking the coil off this is the load remember i uh Repowered there from the Maverick North Little Rock yard this morning It's a good thing. I called ahead because I they stopped receiving at 3 o'clock But since I called the guy he knew I was coming. He told the guard to let me in otherwise I'd have just been out of luck. So he he waited for me Otherwise, I'd have wasted a whole night So uh, Pretty clean place so, uh, all right, there he is getting a big coil. And then what I'm gonna do is uh, pick up my stuff, put all my stuff away, my timbers and everything, and uh, see where I go next. There it is, big old crane, 25 ton capacity. All right, there we go. All right, let me get to work. <laughs> 